Welcome back to the channel again. This is Ethan Kurs from Kurs Trading, and today we have the Bio Sound One in my hands, and also at the table. So uh, we're gonna do another de assembly process for the Bio Sound uh, One, and this is uh, without the cover. I don't have the cover, so I have the one cover, but it's not in another product, but. Um, this video will be be missing one part. It's the front cover. The front cover is missing on this one. So um, beside that, there will be a fully disassembly process for the Biosound One. The Biosound One is pres present and manufactured in two thousand and one. It has been designed by the famous designer David Lewis, and it has a built-in CD player and a radio antenna also here and it has also five uh, speaker drivers one woofer two tweeters and uh, two mid-range the Biosound one weighs around 6.5 kilos and underneath you can uh, there's uh, a power output for the power cord and also has a mini jack input here and also auxiliary input here uh, underneath here so it has many options for uh, for let's say bluetooth connectivity in the future and i like the design i like the control panel how you control the the music through the the Bio Sound One. I, th I think this one is most iconic uh, product Bang Olufsen has made. It's not portable, but it could it could be very nice if uh, we can uh, if we could uh, build in a battery inside this one. That would be amazing because it has the handlebar here. You can take it and uh, use like a boom blaster or a radio outside you outside. Uh, let's say if you're gonna take in the picnic or with your friends. It's, so also the sound is very nice. Um, you can control the Biosound One with your Bio Four remote, and you can also get some accessories like a wall bracket and a floor stand for the Biosound Bio One. You can pre-tune uh, fifty-nine programs with radio, and uh, the front grill you can change in for the green, silver, purple, and blue, white, black, and gold. So. Um, I'm gonna try to uh, power it up and let's try to uh, uh, work with the, the aerial and the CD mechanism and see how the product is working and then we can uh, do the best part, the deassembling process for this uh, Bang & Olufsen products. So uh, I'm gonna grab my power cord. Here's the power cord. Let's just pr plug it in. As you can see, the light is, uh, light is turning on and you can control the you can uh, control the load mechanism by pressing load and this oh and this beautiful uh, mechanism is coming up and take the CD and this is the uh, CD from Arbor Gold Grace Hits I'm I'm not gonna play this but uh, I'm not gonna play this because the rides and also uh, all the cover ride stuff. So we're gonna pull the area button. Let's see the mechanism. It's beautiful coming up. And you can press a radio function. And this is pre-program one. And it's very nice. So uh, we're gonna press standby here and press area button and it will go down. This was a small uh, demonstration how, how the product is working and the serial number and the type number is here is uh, 2581 is software version 1.4. So we're gonna unplug it again. And we're gonna here. Also, this one is 
always coming off. I think this is a ground or something for the antenna. I don't know what it is, but uh, I think we're gonna we're gonna just remove it because all this mess is not good. So uh, let's let's bring some tools and and grab. I think I'm gonna start with removing the 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 drive units. So uh, let's begin with that. Safety first, and I'm not gonna speed up the process. I'm gonna removing uh, deassembling the the speakers. Here is the last screw for this side, and I'm gonna remove the. I'll remove the, the tweeter unit first. All the tweeters is nearly the same for this year. It's the famous uh, here is the tweeter for Bio Sound One. I'm gonna put that aside. So you can grab this. Here is the mid range or mid range driver for the BU Sum 1. Let's uh, remove the, the driver units from this side. I'm gonna speed up the process again, and the last screw is out. Let's remove the trailer unit. Twitter units, I think that's it. They are identical. It's nothing. Yes, it's, it's the same, same product. And here is the mid range. Also, this is also the same. Next step will be the, uh, removing the big woofer. So yes, let's do that. And here is the last screw. Move the big woofer. Okay, just a little bit of using. Here is the woofer for the Bio Sound One. So we have completely removed the speakers from the Bio Sound One, and the next step will be I think we're gonna remove. Um, let's try to remove all the screws. There's some screws here one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven screws we need to remove, and let's I think. These screws are holding the back of the Bio Sound One, so uh, I'm gonna do that. We have finally removed all the screws. Yes, actually unscrewed them. There is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine screws, and let's try to lift it up. I think we need to. I'm not quite sure. About... Let's remove the screws. Here we go. Here is the back chassis, and here is the. I think this is the main board, and also the power supply board. So uh, let's try to remove. Oh, is this one is coming off. Okay, interesting. Um. Okay, let's try to remove uh, these cables from here. Move here. 
and let's try to let's remove this one here we have the complete uh, CD mechanism and also the control pad control unit or the chaps for the BIOS sound one I'm thinking to remove so uh, if we can remove here we go that was nice and easy here is the complete uh, chop controlling bar for the PO sound one it's looking like this we're gonna put that aside here we have this the complete CD mechanism it's looking like this I am not gonna deassemble it because this is a complete part uh, I'm not sure if we want to remove I'm not sure if we can remove the display part, but um, mm, there are some screws here. One, two. I'm not into this. You know what? This is a deassembling process. So for this video, I'm going to take out the screws because I'm gonna see what's inside uh, this uh, unit so uh, yes let's do that okay, controls there we go start by removing here Maybe there are, there are some customer out there that have a broken broken CD tray or something like that. Oh, I think we can. Let's try to remove these T screws here. Here we go. There are some also some screws here. I'm gonna remove one, two, three, four, five. Let's do that. And I have uh, zoomed in a little bit to see the process. Right now we have removed some screws for, for the complete laser unit. I'm not sure if we can remove. Hmm. There are some gearing modes, so let's remove this one. This was one cable. <laughs> um, I'm a little bit confused. Also, actually, this is my first time to removing the complete CD the assembly. Oh, it's coming off. And here we go. Here is the complete laser unit. And uh, this is uh, actually uh, a 1250 55. And this also can be found, I think it also can be found in BU Sound uh, 3000 and 3002. I'm gonna leave this, this as it is and 
this part to be sealed like that. I'm gonna put that aside. And we have still remaining remaining parts here. And I'm not sure what process it's gonna be, but uh, let's try to see if we can. Hmm. It can't be open because the motor is here and. Where's under this one? Okay. What about if we can trigger it? Here we go. This is the tray. This is the tray for the build sound one. Uh, Why can this not come off? It's holding here, here. Oh, there's a screw left. I found the problem. And I'm gonna put it here. And I think we can. Uh, back here again and this is the city mechanism and let's try to remove the motor the gear motor if we can I'm interesting to remove the display that's why I'm removing the complete part and here's also some parts for the seating mechanism and why not remove the let's remove the the motor oh this is uh, And here is the motor for the CD mechanism. I'm gonna put it here. And I think I'm gonna remove it completely. I'm so interesting how the CD mechanism is working. Here's the, the gearing. And another gearing part. This demonstration is all for my uh, customers and for the learning process. I'm a little bit confused why this. Look, so this metal part is. is holding here. There you go. And this is the tray. If we can remove the if we can remove the clamp. There we go. Lift it up. And here is the C D clamp. Gearing and the belt and some screws. 
and let's take a look. So uh, we are getting closer and closer. And this is also has a clamp. Interested. So I'm a little, a little bit confused about this part. Why can we not take it off? Uh, so um, let's try to remove this one. Yeah, no. Yes. Let's not do this. Here we go. This is the the all the gearing is attached with the motor. And we'll put that aside and there's some bearing. This is the CD clamp. And let's remove this one too. Okay, we're gonna find that later. And here is the CD clamp for the build sump one. So um, I'm still have the uh, I'm still gonna remove this one, but how are we gonna remove it? Um, what about if we can stick? Here we go. That's it. And here we go. There was some clamps actually under here. Here, there's two clamps you need to uh, pull up and you can trigger the, the opening mechanism. And here we go. So let's uh, remove the display part. And The last screw, and here is the display part. For this, is also a display and ER completely, and the ER is here for the Bio Sound One. That's great. It's actually the first time to remove completely. Let's try to see if we can. Here is all the parts, and. It's actually the first time to r remove a completely build sound one um, CD mechanism. That's great. That's uh, that's great to know. So um, I hope uh, we have to learn something about the CD mechanism and also uh, the laser unit. And I'm gonna remove all the parts and bring up the the the, the PCB parts. For the Beosong one. Here we have the, the PCB boards. Uh, this must be the the amplifier unit. And here is the power supplier. And there is the antenna with the motor. I think we can um, I'm I think we can just pull this up. What I can remember there's no scope. There's a sc I'm not sure. There's no screws holding the antenna, but we're gonna remove that later. Let's focus on the the amplifier board and remove that first. So let's speed up the process again. And I think this was the last screw. And I have removed the, the cable here. And let's remove also the cable between the power supply and the amplifier board. And here we go. And remove this cable also. I think we can. Oh, we just need to remove then. This must. This is the antenna board. And here we go. This is the amplifier board for the Biosamp One, and this is the PCB. I think this is the 
main PCB uh, one. I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna look at the manual. Let's put that aside. Now let's remove the the power supply board. The last screw is out, and we can gently lift it up. And here is the power supply board for Beo Sound One, and this is the PCB board two. I'm gonna put it right here. So uh, let's try to. Next step will be removing the the antenna. I think we can just switch it here. The antenna is not uh, screwed in. Um, I'm sure we can just pull it out. There is some. Uh, there are some, I don't know, the clamps or something. I don't know what it's called in Danish, but uh, you can just remove it. And here is the antenna for Biosan 1, and this is with the RDS function, RSD function. And I'm gonna put that aside. It's looking like this. And also need to remember to pull these uh, mount uh, mount brackets for the antenna. So um, this was a completely yeah. If we gonna, I think we also need to remove uh, the screws for the chassis. There are some screws left. This when we uh, when we remove the chassis, we gonna. Uh, get into the the where the speakers is uh, is are. So we are also gonna do that. Let's build the process again. So uh, there are some screw there's is is damaged right here, and we can open it. We can open it up. So uh, I'm gonna leave this video as it is and. I'm gonna bring all the parts at the table. So uh, here is nearly the all the parts. I'm gonna bring the the top control panel part for the BIOS of one. And here we have the woofer and the mid range driver and the trader. And here, here in this section, we have all the CD clamps for the mechanism and the laser unit. And this was the VAU-1255. The amplifier board. Power supply board, a little bit dust, but it's, it's okay. This is the display part with the RDS, not not the RDS with ER. You can see here, and here is the the antenna with the motor. And this is, and here is the chassis for the CD mechanism. And some more clamps. And this for the tray, for the CD tray. And cable. The back cover. Again, thank you for watching this video. I'm glad to do another data assembling process for a Bang Olufsen product. And this time was the Bio Sound uh, 1. I hope you liked the video and you have learned something about the, the CD mechanism and how to deassemble it. And also if in the future, if you want to uh, change the laser unit, you know how to do it. Thank you for watching, subscribe to the channel and like the video. Thank you for watching.